Good evening and a very warm welcome to the KDF Friday Bulletin. I am Senior Private Jeff Mwangi. The Bulletin is a show to keep you updated on events undertaken by the Ministry of Defence over the week. In our highlights tonight, Chief of Defence Forces hosts US AFRICOM Commander at the Defence Headquarters. Principal Secretaries for Defence and Health inspect key health projects in Marsabit and Wajia counties. Cabinet Secretary for Defense attends an AI summit in South Korea. Commander Kenya Navy officiates the 59th Apostolate Military International Conference in Mombasa. And in sports, Kenya Defense Forces elite athletes shine at the 2024 Nairobi City Marathon. To start us off, General Charles Kahariri, Chief of the Defense Forces, hosted United States Marine Corps General Michael Langley, commander of U.S. Africa Command, and his delegation at the defense headquarters in Nairobi. The visiting general inspected a guard of honor mounted by the Kenya Air Force before engaging in bilateral discussions with the Kenya Defense Forces leadership. During the discussions, the two generals addressed a range of mutual interests, including defense collaboration, diplomacy, and development. Topics covered included counterterrorism, violent extremism, peacekeeping and support operations, and ways to enhance cordial relations between the United States and Kenya. General Langley emphasized Africa United States Command's commitment to promoting regional security, stability, and prosperity through security cooperation and crisis response. On his part, General Kariri acknowledged the valuable partnership with the United States in global security and counterterrorism efforts and expressed appreciation for the United States government support in training and capacity building. A summit on responsible artificial intelligence in the military domain held in Seoul, South Korea, urged member states to explore prospects for international cooperation on responsible artificial intelligence for a safer future. The summit was co-hosted by Kenya, Netherlands, Singapore, South Korea, and the United Kingdom. The Cabinet Secretary for Defense, Honorable Soipan Tuya, laid emphasis on the importance of ethical and responsible governance of artificial intelligence in the military and security applications. She noted that Kenya is ready to participate in the global dialogue and work alongside other international partners to address the challenges and opportunities artificial intelligence presents in the security domain. Kenya has continually endorsed the responsible artificial intelligence in military blueprint for action and expressed commitment to advancing international norms that uphold ethics, human rights, and global stability in artificial intelligence governance. Um, AI does integrate sustainability principles in, in, in its uh, development, uh, deployment, and, and, and usage. The summit was co-hosted by Kenya, Netherlands, Singapore, South Korea, and the United Kingdom. General Charles Kahariri, Chief of the Defense Forces, hosted Her Excellency Nicole Adamkova, the Ambassador of Czech Republic, and the Czech Republic Director General for Industrial Cooperation Division, Ms. Radka Kondalova, at the Defense Headquarters in Nairobi. The leaders engaged in bilateral talks focusing on strategic cooperation and enhancing the defense partnership between Kenya and Czech Republic. In a separate meeting, Ambassador Nicole and the Czech delegation held a meeting with Major General Bernard Waliaula, the Director General of the Defense National Security Industries. Take a look. General Kahariri emphasized the strong friendship and strategic partnership between the two countries across various sectors. He noted that Kenya Czech Defense Cooperation Agreement, which had been previously discussed, now awaits cabinet approval before being presented to the National Assembly for ratification. Once ratified, the Defense Cooperation Agreement will facilitate collaboration in areas such as research and development, counterterrorism, education and training, and military sports. On his part, Major General Waliaula expressed appreciation for the ongoing bilateral cooperation and highlighted the potential for industrial and technological collaboration. 
He stressed that joint efforts in defense industry capabilities could promote innovation and sustainability in areas such as defense equipment and technology, infrastructure development, military healthcare services, aerospace technology, and environmental safety. For us, defense industry is about self-reliance, technology transfer, and contribution to the national development agenda. Ms. Kondalova reaffirmed the Czech Republic's commitment to strengthening industrial relations and technological transfer, which she said will be instrumental in fostering economic growth for both nations. The Vice Chief of the Defense Forces, Lieutenant General John Omenda, officiated the opening ceremony of the 2024 African Borderlands Research Network Annual Conference at the Humanitarian Peace Support School here in Nairobi. This year's conference theme, Resilience and Social Cohesion, in the African Borderlands focused on the role of agro-pastoralist mobility, labor diversification, peace and security in regional integration, despite facing significant challenges and vulnerabilities across the African borderlands. During the conference, Lieutenant General Omenda noted that this year's conference will provide a platform to interrogate the different thematic areas that speak to the challenges facing humanity today and find means towards achieving sustainable development. As we commence this conference, I call upon all of us to interrogate the different thematic areas that speak to the challenges facing humanity today and in days to come. To fight this, there is need to rely on research to prefer working solutions. On her part, Brigadier Joyce Sitiene, the Director International Peace Support Training Center, emphasized that information sharing will enable individuals and societies understand the complexities of borderlands and how to navigate effectively to global peace and security challenges. This conference provides an opportunity for information sharing among the various actors in the domain of peace, security, and development. Information sharing through such a forum will enable individuals and societies to understand the complexities of borderlands and how to effectively navigate regional and global peace and security challenges. Dr. Zenu Umar, Director of the United Nations Development Program Resilience Hub for Africa appreciated the collaboration between United Nations Development Program Resilience, African Borderlands Research Network, and International Peace Support Training Center. On to Matters Health, Dr. Patrick Mariru, the Principal Secretary for Defense and his counterpart from the State Department for Health Services, Mr. Harry Kimtai conducted inspection visits to the proposed Sololo Level 4 Hospital and Eldaz Sub-County Hospital to assess the progress of their development. The two health facility projects undertaken by the Ministry of Defense on behalf of the Ministry of Health are key to enhance healthcare access in the region. The principal secretaries received an in-depth brief on the hospital status with the Sololo Medical Facility at 98% completion. In his remarks, Dr. Mariru reaffirmed the Ministry of Defense commitment to collaborating with other ministries, departments and agencies to deliver essential services to Kenyans. Subsequently, His Excellency Muhammad Ali, the Governor Marsabit County, expressed his gratitude to the two ministries for the timely delivery of the project. The inspection visits underscore the government's ongoing efforts to enhance healthcare infrastructure across the country. By leveraging interministerial collaboration, the Ministry of Defense continues to play a pivotal role in national building. The Defense Principal Secretary, Dr. Patrick Mariru, hosted the clerk of the National Assembly, Mr. Samuel Njoroge, and officials from the State Law Office for a consultative meeting at the Defense Headquarters here in Nairobi. The meeting aimed at strengthening the already existing cordial relations between the Ministry of Defense, the Parliament and the State Law Office in the legislation process of the defense-related matters. Dr. Patrick Mariru thanked the officials for their support in the formulation and ratification of the various laws, acts, 
treaties and policies aligned to the defense in line with the whole of government approach. The Commandant Kenya Military Academy, Major General Muduri Kyugu, hosted past commandants of the institution in a colorful get-together at the academy in Lanet, Nakuru County. The commandants had an opportunity to individually share their military experiences and mentor the cadets, academy officers and service members. While making his keynote address to the cadets and the academy staff, Lieutenant General Retired Daniel Opande, who was the commandant, reminded the cadets of the oath they will undertake when they commission and advised them to always be selfless, exhibit high moral standards and courage. In his remarks, Major General Kiugu expressed his gratitude to the commandants for their service and leadership in different capacities. He added that their mentorship as commandants is evident in the caliber of officers who commissioned from the academy, some of whom are general officers. They are wealth of experience with a lot of wisdom. They are usually called to provide counsel, direction at the highest level. While making his keynote address to the cadets and the academy staff, Lieutenant General retired Daniel Opande, who was the commandant, reminded the cadets of the oath they will undertake when they commission and advised them to always be selfless, exhibit high moral standards and courage. The military has two main purposes. To deter our enemies from engaging us in warfare. And if that fails, to defeat them in combat. Defeat them in combat. Still at the Kenya Military Academy, the Commandant Kenya Military Academy, Major General Muduri Kiugu, inaugurated a multifunctional trainer at the Kenya Military Academy in Nakuru County. The multifunctional trainer will enable a high number of trainees to undertake numerous physical activities simultaneously and enable progressive strengthening of the upper body. The Commandant challenged the physical training instructors to adopt a modern form of training to be in tandem to the modern trends in fitness. He further hailed the physical training instructors for their dedication, professionalism and discipline in the shaping up of the cadets' physical fitness. He emphasized on the need for regular utilization of the facility in order to deliver all-round soldiers. I want to remind you that uh, as members of the Kenyan Defense Forces, we must ensure we remain physically fit because our duties demand so. The Kenya Air Force, in collaboration with the Egyptian Air Defense Force delegation, hosted an air defense planning workshop at Lekipia Air Base in Nanyuki. The workshop followed a briefing held at Kenya Air Force headquarters in Moy Air Base, Nairobi, where the Egyptian delegation paid a courtesy call on Commander Kenya Air Force Major General Fatma Ahmed for the workshop planning objectives as well as strategies to protect vital targets and enhance air defense capabilities. Base Commander Wajia Air Base, Brigadier Sane, emphasized that the workshop reflects the strong and historic bilateral relationship between Kenya and Egypt and underscored the importance of air defense planning to address modern air threats. Brigadier General Youssef Ibrahim Hussein of the Egyptian Armed Forces expressed his satisfaction in the collaboration's progress and stated that the workshop will lead to a constructive plan for advancing air defense systems through training and modernization. The Kenya Defense Forces troops operating in Baringo County under Operation Maliza Uhalifu donated assorted food staff and carried out medical checkups for varied ailments to local residents of Losuk and Loibor Ngare at Leraoni in Samburu County. The exercise aimed to cushion the residents from famine following heavy rains that have destroyed farmlands in the area. During the exercise, the officer commanding Learoni Ford Operating Base Major George Mackay noted that banditry menace has led to closure and damage of health facilities in affected regions, jeopardizing access to medical services. This, he noted, has hampered effective provision of health care, especially to the vulnerable populace, which includes women, 
children and the elderly. Losuk Location Chief Mr. Philip Leno expressed gratitude to Kenya Defense Forces and assured the troops of the community's continued support in the fight against banditry until normalcy is restored in the region. The Commander Kenya Navy, Major General Paul Ocheno, officially opened the 59th Apostolate Military International Conference in Mombasa earlier this week. The Apostolate Military International is a distinguished organization committed to advancing a Christian perspective on military life both nationally and globally. In his address, Major General Otieno noted that the conference team military service with a human face, challenges and opportunities for young military families, underscores the essence of service. He noted that military life is characterized by unique circumstances and demands that impact the family unit. He pointed out constant relocations and long periods of separations due to deployments as having the potential to put a strain on both the family relationship and the mental well-being of all involved. The unpredictability of military life effectively causes a strain on both personal relationships and mental well-being. It is my heartfelt hope that this conference will bring forward real, impactful ideas and solutions that not only shape future policies, but also foster a culture of genuine support and resilience for our military families. In her address to the delegates, Ambassador Dr. Monica Juma, the National Security Advisor, delved into the relationship and interactions of the state, defense, and the church. She highlighted the contributions of the church to both the military families and the state, expanding democratic rights of citizens, mediation of religious tensions, creation of shared community values, and general development of the country. You know that in the last 14 weeks in our country, we have been grappling with this question of the youth and the tension and the demands and what they think the country should be framed like. But it is also from this youth that we are drawing our servicemen and women that are going to be in our front lines. So how do we anchor this youth in this context? The five days conference attracted 80 delegates from 19 countries across the world, including Austria, Belgium, Burundi, Canada, Congo, Cote d'Ivoire, Gambia, Germany, Ireland, Italy, Netherlands, Philippines, Slovakia, South Africa, Ukraine, United Kingdom, and United States of America. The Kenya Defense Forces Sergeant Major Warrant Officer Class 1 Elijah Koranga was among the distinguished panelists at the Africa Senior Enlisted Leader Conference 2024 in Malawi. The conference saw the participation of more than 50 senior enlisted leaders from the United States and 30 from African nations. The event co-hosted by Malawi Defense Forces and the United States Africa Command provided a platform for senior non-commissioned officers to exchange best practices, discuss challenges, and strengthen partnerships. The conference plays a vital role in fostering collaboration, advancing non-commissioned officers' development, and building robust military partnerships across Africa. And in sports, a team of more than 100 airmen and women from the Moi Air Base joint scores of runners at the 2024 edition of the Nairobi City Marathon. The Moi Air Base team, which participates in the marathon annually, was this year led by Colonel Benedita Kikech, the colonel in charge of logistics at the Kenya Air Force headquarters, and Lieutenant Colonel Francis Otiso, the Moi Air Base commanding officer headquarter wing. On his part, Lieutenant Colonel Otiso emphasized the importance of participating in community events that promote talent development. In the elite category, Kenya Defense Forces delivered remarkable performance with Koplo Wilson Tor from Kahawa Garrison securing second place in the men's 21-kilometer race with a time of 1 hour, 1 minute and 14 seconds, while Senior Private Marion Kibo winning the women's 21-kilometer race with a time of 1 hour, 8 minutes and 55 seconds. In her remarks, Colonel Kikech expressed her pride in the team's performance. On his part, 
Lieutenant Colonel Otiso emphasized the importance of participating in community events that promote talent development. That's all for tonight. Thank you for watching. We look forward for your feedback via our official social media handles and your viewership next Friday for the KDF Friday Bulletin. I am Senior Private Jeff Mwangi. Goodbye.